Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Lee. Today, we are literally rolling D20 dice. I kid you not, we are doing it. I mean, if I had a D20 here... Where's my deck box? There we go, look, we got a deck here. We have a D20 dice. Um, we're gonna play along in person. But today... We're gonna roll some D20s. I don't know if this is the correct one, since I don't think you're legally allowed to use these, because all the numbers are close together. But we're gonna be playing it in Legacy. What are we doing? We're cloud posting, usual. I want to play the mechanics here. We have a treasure chest, which is a card that says it's a three mana artifact, you pay four, you can either lose all three life, create five treasure tokens, or gain three and draw three if it hits 10 to 19. Um, or if you hit 20, which I want to see if this actually works, if you hit a lucky 20, then you can search a library for an, a card, and if it's an artifact, put it straight in the battlefield, otherwise you put it in your hand. How are we going to ramp out these random roll a d20 mechanics? Uh, look, there's another one here. Roll, re return a random card from your graveyard to your hand, we can draw two cards, and then we can, or we can put a creature card from any graveyard into the battlefield under control and when the creature dies it, its owner loses the game so hopefully i don't put my own creatures into play that'd be very awkward um but essentially i want to help i want to basically make the opponent lose but what are we doing here we have trinospheres we have metal workers yes i'll put it in a metal worker shell we have grim monoliths chalices you know the usual metal worker you want to be able to get the grit lightning graves on it so it doesn't die i got a crucible to help rebuy lands got the urza saka urza urza Saga package, Vatai Key, Manifold Key, Retrofield of Candy, and a Candelabra. Some pedals to try to force this really fast. I want to see how fast I can get this deck out in the playing. I have two Codolta Four Marges to just try to make sure we actually get our janky uh, legendary artifacts into play. Cyborg, we've got usual Ley Lines, Warping Whales. I've got some Ugans and Forges in there. I'll put Four Spheres because I just really want to force people to play big mana. <laughs> and I, I had, last time we played this deck, the Metal Worker slash um, Lodestone Golem. Uh, Lodestone Golem was really good with the Wastelands. If we could like slam an early Lodestone Golem and then just Wasteland them and they keep attacking them, it did really well. And I figured the whole entire deck is artifacts. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully we can have some fun games and uh, hope to see you in the videos. And again, if you're watching from YouTube, comment and click that subscribe button. Uh, really, it's a way to support the stream. It's completely free. Uh, and click the like button. Like, like me playing jank. Um, I really, really support that. And if you want to join me on Twitch Live, I switch stream every Sunday uh, and Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesdays 6.30 and Sundays at 2pm, Pacific Standard Time. So let's go ahead and play some jank. Let's roll some literal D20s. Uh, yep. And let's see how we go. Let's, let's have a bit of fun. Some Cloud Post shenanigans. Dice rolling post. Let's go. Let's play some dice rolling post. It's like more of a metal worker shell. But we'll put in some fun cards in there. I also got a, the spicy staff. If you didn't know, if you can get enough mana with metal worker and like staff. It does really well into like making Infinity Mana draw your whole deck. So I'm hoping I don't know how I win from here. Because like normally you're supposed to have a walking ballista, right? So you can uh <laughs> um win off that. But uh, I don't know. I guess I should have put a walking ballista in the main or like a Khan, the great creator maybe. Okay, we can just vomit our whole deck. That's always a that's also a thing. Just play four lowstone golems, draw our whole deck, play four lowstone golems. Oh, we can retro. We can make infinity mana with retro. And make infinity creatures, I guess. That's a thing. Probably gonna time out. <laughs> 24 lands is really low, actually. I'll have the pedals here to try to support the land count. Uh, I figured four pedals is enough for like one land, hopefully. Um, also, like, be able to play a turn one metalwork, it seems really sweet. Um, a little, little bit unfortunate that it's the old network and not the new one, but whatever, it is what it is. Oh, 
Hope everyone's having a good day. I think everyone's in the Legacy Challenge, I guess. I did play it in this morning, but I uh, only played a few rounds and then wrapped it up. I had some other stuff to do. But apart from that, yeah, we're trying to have some fun with some metal workers. Pretty excited. That random Ugin in the sideboard. Ugin's just always good. I really, really hope it doesn't get to me having to activate Staff of Domination to draw my whole deck. That uh, would not be pleasant. Alrighty, where are my opponents? Let's read this card again. Roll d20, subtract the cards in your hand. If the result is 0 or less, discard your hand. 1 to 9, return a random card from your graveyard in your hand. Draw 2 cards. So I, think, I feel like this is going to be drawing me 2 cards a lot. 10 to 19, that's a lot. I figured the combo here is that I can sack a bunch of artifacts and then return the cards in my hand if worse comes or worse. Put a creature from any graveyard into the battlefield under your control. When the creature dies, its owner loses a game. So I did figure out somehow to like make my opponent discard a creature and then I can put it into play. Yeah, I guess the Lotus Golem can, can attack and then people chomp it. See what happens. I love how everything is new boarded except the pedals. <laughs> Which cities are old, right? Yeah, and they look suddenly new. Or where are my opponents? Come on! I'm just a regular round one league, let's go. <laughs> Where are they? Hello everyone, good to see everyone hanging out. Hope everyone's having a lovely Sunday afternoon. Not sure, can you all hear the music? I have the music on like a medium level, just want to make sure that's good good volume. Pardon? Can't get on to the screen? Should be working, we got people hanging out here. Yeah, we're working, we're, we're alive. We're just waiting for an opponent. Where are they? I'm sorry folks, sorry to have to... Alright, finally got an opponent. Awesome, let's finally play some magic. Oh, please accept. <laughs> Alright, let's do it, let's do it. Let's see what the opponent was playing last. Panhand, Panhand Go, they were playing Jeskai Standstill last, in their last 5-0? 5-2 in the Legacy Challenge. Uh, sure. So, July 4th? Okay, that was like last month. Okay, they were just playing this. Oh, right, this is fine. Oh, uh, we won the die roll. That's very rare. <laughs> I don't win the die roll often. Um, okay. So this hand, I can go turn on Candle Retro. Um, so there's actually an interesting line here. I can go turn one, city, candelabra, I'll use candelabra, untap the city, and then play chalice for one, and just ignore the retro. Or I can just go city, candelabra, retro, turn two, chalice for one. Um, or I could go s cloud post pass. It's also a safe line there. I'm gonna keep this. They were playing a control deck before. I feel like Retro will get me there, but then, then again, this Candelabra is a little bit risky. I like, I like Chalice though. Yeah, I'm gonna go Candelabra, untap Candelabra, cast a Chalice. See how that goes. 
If they're a control deck, they're gonna take a long time. I'll be able to get some lands out of this. So this works here. It's a little greedy, I would say. Oh, they just let it resolve? Okay, that's good. A little greedy, but we'll see how this goes. Good thing is that I play Crystal later, and then I'm gonna be able to replay my lands. Let's see if they force this. No, they do not. Okay. That's great. They have Oko? That's so tilting as their avatar. Alright, just pass. That makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna be able to... Play this. Play... Untap that, right? And we can play... Crystal. Actually, we also play Lotus of Golem now. That seems really good as well. Let's do that. Seems better. Whoop! Deal with that. Deal with that. Oh, it resolves. That's fantastic. All right. So unfortunately, by throwing away our chance to cast of Crucible there, it means that we're gonna need to um, get some more lands. But hopefully, we can draw more lands out of this. All right, Tropical Island. All right. So not Yuri on par. Probably just Bank Control, maybe. Oh wow. Underground Sea? What's this? Strix? Oh, I'm totally fine with Strix. I know it has Death Touch, but I want to annoy them more than anything else. That means they're playing a slow deck, which is fun for us. I, th I don't think I'm going to be attacking here. We want to, yeah, we want to get these Cloud Posts online, so... I'm just going to chill out. This, this is going to annoy them more than anything. Slow Stone Golem. And our whole deck is artifacts, <laughs> so that's a good sign. That's what they do here. Oh wow, they literally have more artifacts. That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You gonna attack? Oh, you are getting getting frisky. I see. That's fine. So we're gonna be able to turn this Sesame stage into a cloud pose, which is fantastic for us. This is like experimental brew. I don't know if it's any good. I'm just having a good fun, good fun time. Trinisphere. Ooh wee. Um So they could force, which they will have to fetch and pay one. Um no, nah, I think i I think I'd rather just go with the the, the Thespian stage line here. Uh I also could just do it now to avoid any like trophy shenanigans. No, yes, that's his trophy. So we're gonna do that now. No, no, no reason to wait. All right, we're not responding or anything crazy. I've been blown out by trophy a little bit in Pioneer. <laughs> I played Pioneer, Pioneer the other day at a team trio event, and some blew my trophy out. I told copying a Lotus Field, which is kind of ironic because Lotus Field is hexproof. And um, yeah, I could have did it on the spot, and they just held up two mana forever. And I was like, why do you keep holding up two mana? You keep forgetting to activate your gold, guild, guild, golden goose. And it turns out they're holding up trophy the whole time. And I was like, oh, okay. End up winning. Because I just... Lotus Field. It's a good card. Alright, so we can't cast Retro here. But we have a Candelabra on here. So, go ahead and test the waters here. Um, I guess we just do this now. And cast a bunch of things. Might as well do this. Why not? Let's make a tons of mana. Because we can. Um, let's cast this first. Clear the waters. All the tax. Tax. Lots of tax. Alright, they're gonna probably force this, I assume. Oh, no, they're not. Alright, I guess so. I mean, it really bummed that I have Chalice Invite play now, because it means that I can't cast this retro, but I think this saves us for a little bit here. Can't attack. It's unfortunate. But yeah, I think the Lotus Golem's annoying them more than us. We're hoping they draw something here. We're not playing Bridge, so that means that um, we want to draw cards and stuff. They're probably going to flashback or row. Do I have a Bridge and Sideboard? No, I don't. I just lost the Spheres. <laughs> right. So, yep, yep. Oro costs, costs 6. I mean, costs 5. Right, that's an Oro. Nuke the whole graveyard. See what we can get out of this. We could probably attack here. No, they don't. Alright. 
tomb. We just drew a land. Alright, um... There's no point playing a land here. So we're just gonna lose it. We could play land. Just to turn the city into tomb, but no, there's no point, no point. Good chill here. We're gonna get beat by this Oro. They're getting all the card advantage. They have seven cards and an Oro. Uh, we can take this. Uh, actually, no, we can we can block this. Maybe do we block? I think it's hurting them more than us. But like, we have infinity mana, so we didn't care about the Lotus Golem. They also have tons of mana, so I don't know if the Lotus Golem's actually doing anything anymore. No, we're gonna, we'll, we'll take it for now. Take it for now. Trophy. I knew the trophy was coming. Sure. I don't think we have another waste. We ain't got one waste. Yep. It's fine. Let's see, uh, Trinisphere's bug on them. I was hoping they'll hit the chalice there. <laughs> we just vomit out a million uh, tokens. Leave it. Sure. At all. I think we lose in this point here. Cast this for now. Play the city, lose the city? Mm. We can chill, we can chill. We might be able to draw something really nice. I probably need to attack an arrow here. I oh, know all of them. Oh, and the Lee Vault. Opponent just does not care. Guess we can block the Leo here. I know, I know we're dead for... A little bit dead here, but... I'm just gonna see what else. I'm sussing out their deck. This is just like... F five color control. No, there's no white. So four color control. Leave all trophy or uh, Jace? Sure. I want to roll some dice. Give me some dice. Check pile? Yeah, it looks like a check pile. Fuck. I haven't seen check pile in ages. Technically, I was playing like, traditional cloud post. Check pile is like really, really favored, but you know, metal worker. I have a feeling we're dead. So let's go and scoop this up. That's what we're also going to draw here. Pedals. Grim staff. Oh, all right. So yeah, it's okay. All right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So there, an oro pile slash check pile. I don't know if Sphere is going to help us here. Spell Scots. Oh, Mystic Forge is good. Going to be able to uh, grind them out, right? Ugin seems really good for them, to, very hard for them to deal with. Uh, Caracas could be a thing. I think I have. No, okay. They have like all the uh, non basics. So Wasteland is going to be good. Hopefully we can punish them with Wasteland. Let's take out the Blast Zones. Oh. Yeah, I do think they're playing back to basics. Blast Zone is generally for like back to basics and stuff. Um, we can cut a pedal. I guess we can go fast. I'm gonna take out Crucible then. Crucible is for like Wasteland. I have a feeling they're not playing Wasteland. Sometimes they used to play one Wasteland and that was just really, really, really good for them. Um, Warping Well stops the Strixes. Warping Ballista actually starts killing things. Not too bad. I don't think I'm playing Leyline in this matchup here. Safe, not too bad. I don't. I could have. I could have put Depths in my deck, but instead I decided not to. Um, I still want to keep this. This is the whole point of the deck, the stream, right? I could technically take out Treasure Chest, but it looks like good value. <laughs> I, I mean, getting five tokens is good. Maybe we uh, don't go to turbo and take out some pedals. I mean, pedals also helps be with chalice, but we've got f six soul lands. We gotta take out some pedals here. So I'm bringing in like these haymakers, long range stuff. Like Ugin's a GG, walking ballista is maybe. It just kills the uh, the strixes. We don't have Khan in this ma in this type of deck. Try to keep it really artifact centric, apart from Ugin. Ugin's just amazing. 
All right, this is not a lot of lands. We do have t two chalices, but yeah, this is terrible. We can't do anything with these lands. I'm modeling in this. Uh, this is a cloud post. Turn one. Not really, it wasn't, because it was a Vesuva. So, comes in uh, tapped, it's gonna make me sack my city. So, this hand is like a turn one cloud post, nothing. Turn two city transfer, protect ourselves. Um, turn two tribal, yeah, there's a lot of turn two. I'm gonna keep this. I'm actually going to bottom the Ugin, because that is way too far for us. I don't think they're playing Wasteland, so this is a. I'm gonna go ahead and play this a little bit safe. Cloud post pass, turn two Trinity Sphere, hopefully that resolves. They could be playing Thought Seed as well, which is gonna be really scary for us. Yeah, it doesn't normally play Wasteland. Um, I have seen people during the Ren and Six era, they're playing Wasteland as a one of. But it just seems way too greedy to play a Wasteland. Ooh, oh, that's even better. I'll play that one. Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, we're gonna go Trinity Sphere here, protect our creatures. Let's see if this resolves. It's probably going to get countered. They kept a 7, right? Alright, Force Negation, Pitching, Brazen Barrel. I'm totally fine with that. Brazen Barrel would have been super annoying. Oh, so I have to. I can play Godolta here and just like. They have to deal with it. Unless I go Metalwork with Manifold Key. That's another line as well. But if I go Godolta and you have to deal with this, if you don't, I jam Metalwork with Manifold Key and just like untap with it. That seems pretty good. Uh, Glimmer Post, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, it's the same. I right, we still get 5 mana here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Um, yeah, I think we go Kodolta here. Just jam it. They have to deal with it. They're no, no, I noticed that they weren't playing white, right? They're playing 4 color with, with, uh, without without white. They had red. And, you know, Kodolta's 3, 5 for no stupid reason. <laughs> um, it's like... Because it's colourless, you'd think it'd be worse. They have zero amounts of trophy. I mean, they did have a trophy game one, but if they trophy me, I gotta waste. It's good enough. I'm fine with that. They're fetching hard. Fetching hard. They're just fetching to Oro, maybe? Yeah, or a K Command. Command, command K Command would be awkward. I'll probably just discard the Manifold Key then. Yeah, Alright, so I didn't care about Oros, man. Three. <laughs> gonna explore for three mana? I don't care, man. I don't care, opponent. Alrighty. Alright, so we can hopefully try to jam these two artifacts. Let's see if we draw another artifact. The whole deck is artifacts, so... What are they doing in my upkeep? Are they just pausing? But we don't have, like, a blight still. <laughs> Agent 2. Right. Um, yeah, we don't have, like, like a blight still to kill them. Uh, I guess... Do we just jam these two things? I think we do. An end step, what do we get? That's the question. <laughs> Are they gonna force this? They have four cards. Let's see if they have a force. Four cards, opponent. Do you wanna get himmed? Again. I don't care about the Metal Worker. Maybe I should have cast the Metal Key first in case they have a bolt. Be hilarious if I could like get enough artifacts to untap this. Force negation. All right. All right, that's that's a thing. Anyways, that's a, so I hindu him again. All right, they're down to two cards. I'm just gonna attack him for three now. All right, so they're down to two cards. A blue deck having two cards. That seems terrible. <laughs> that seems terrible. All right, we have tons of artifacts. Please, no more lands. No more, no more lands, no more lands, no more lands. We have 24? 24, 25? I think that's pretty low. I normally have a lot of lands in Cloud Post. Ah, yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna attack, because they could have snakes, right? I mean, they couldn't kill it though. What could they have? Oh, they could have endurance, so I'm gonna just hang out here then. We did get some life, but that's unfortunate, yeah. What are they doing on my at beginning of combat? Are they fetching again? 
The cryptic king? Cryptic command? The force of vigor! Oh, get wrecked. Um, sure. Makes sense. Alright, you have one card, I have one card. I think I top deck better than them, but then again, they can cantrip, but they're the panic cantripping. That's all they have to do, right? That's an Uro, sorry, they got an Uro, which is good, pretty good as well. Um, turns out, Uro is a good card. News press. Press release. Alert, alert. Uro is a good card. No one ever knew. Alrighty. Grim on lift. Alright, that's a dud. Just gonna, I'm just gonna be empty there. Come on, give us something here, folks. Give me some energy in the chat here. Am I playing on the at the three K? No, I can't. I have a I have another appointment on that day, which is unfortunate. Wasteland, get wrecked already. We're gonna just kill ourselves here. Just to assert authority. We have to wasteland them. Um, I'm gonna take that back. So take that one. Out. Sure. Alright, they're just going to keep jamming with this really good uh, green blue mythic. And let's see what we draw here. What do they have? A Jace? Yeah, Jace is good. Turns out blue is a good color in Legacy. <laughs> Alright, we're dead. Poor Metalworker. Alright, we'll go next round. I just want to roll dice. Just let let a man roll his dice. Alrighty, rush. Okay, we've got a round two shot away. That's kind of good. Reversing the jig is always up. I see this person in chat all the time. We're on the play, which is great. Uh, we can turn one chalice, turn two metal worker or trinity. So I'm good with this. I'm gonna keep this. We're on the play, which is fantastic. This is all in. If we Trinus Sphere, I think we're going to kill ourselves, so we're going to go with Metalworker here. <laughs> They're chatting me. Um, yeah, I'm going to Chalice them. <laughs> I assume... The, the opponent has said, I assume you're on post. The opponent is a Doomsday player? Right. That's good to know. So I'm going to have to jam the metal worker next turn so I can have some mana at least. Yeah this this person's always on just Twitch chat. I always see them chatting uh, in mostly legacy streams. I, and I watch Honorog a lot because he streams a lot of hours. But um, I'm assuming because the opponent is playing magic on the side and then they have the stream running so. Okay we got this Lotus Pearl was kind of nice. Yeah I'm gonna jam, I'm still gonna jam this um Metal Worker to get some mana. Oh, I could have kept the Lotus Petal to have extra mana for the Metal Worker. Ooh! Lotus Golem sounds pretty good. Golem? Should I Golem? No, I think we Metal Worker, because they have to, like, they can't do anything this turn. And I need the mana. Next turn I can jam everything. Yeah, yeah, let's play a Metal Worker here. I also could have not played the land and just played Pedal Metalworker. Or just kept the pedal in my hand. But I don't need that much mana. Just passing. This is a good sign for us. Yes, untapped Metalworker. It's good. very good. Chalice. Alright, so we're going to do lots of things here. Revealing th four cards, because we don't care about our hand. <laughs> That's just how Metalworker goes. Um, Lotstone Golem. And then Chalice for two? Or do we get Trinosphere? I think Golem first to imply pressure. We have six mana. Do we Chalice for three? They're forcing. Forceful pitching days. Radio. Maybe I should have Trinosphere first. Um, okay. So, I have a, I mean, I know Doomsday sometimes does play days and Force of Will. Tribal then Chalice next turn. Yeah, that's a good that's a good plan. 
Maybe you should have forced the metal worker the opponent said. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the chalice here. And then just chalice for two next turn. Opponent said, I just assumed you had other lands in hand. I revealed my hand. <laughs> you know what I had. My whole entire hand. Uh, okay. So, this should have been going to slow them down. I have a feeling my chalice is for two is going to resolve. I don't know if- I know they play Doomsday. Why lead on Golem over the three wall? That's a good point. That's a good point. I could have played three wall first. Normally my instinctive, instinctive nature is always played Trinosphere first. Um, but I think I punted there. They got a Doomsday. They're probably Doomsday. They are Doomsday. So, they win with Tarsus Oracle, right? So, can... Even though, like the LED, it's going to cost them 3 mana. So obviously just Chalice for 2 here, right? Just, and then they have to set up the um, the Cavern of Souls. I know they can Cavern, I, I'm aware. But they, you know... I have a feeling they probably can like just tutor up the Cavern first. I also can just draw an Impactful Threat. Make them have it? Yeah, yeah, good point. They got three cards in hand. Yeah. Probably, yeah, probably would have been smarter to cast the Trinity first last turn. Then Los and Golem. It just sort of makes the Golem safe, right? Good to see the opponent sticking to their deck. Forge Master. Alrighty. What can I do? So, so I reveal... That's three, that's six mana, seven, eight. So I go Forge Master for five. Do I Forge Master? That's the thing. What can I get? <laughs> I think I should know my deck better. All right, let's go, go, go have a look. What helps us here? I guess a Golem would help. Also Staff as well. What's, I think the, the map is like eight mana, right? To be able to um, have infinity mana, like you need to be able to tap the metal worker, reveal four cards that makes eight mana, and then staff. Let's go look at the maps here. Staff is here, so to be able to draw a card and untap an artifact, untap a creature. Oh, thank you for the raid. Nobody knows I'm a dog. I love I love your username by the way. Um, yeah. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and go back to the game here. Just do the thing. Six. We could just chalice for two. I think Codolto like puts a little bit of a better upside. Um thank you for the raid, appreciate the love, mate. Appreciate the love. Thank you for the raid of fourteen. Um don't fo mm. If I get Kodolta, what can I get to beat them? Um, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, let's, let's get Kodolta here. I'm glad the metal worker played around the days actually uh, earlier because I played the pedal first, which actually played around their days that they exiled. Uh, so let's just look at their deck while they're playing their turn. Duress, days, personal tutor. So a few things I assume you didn't chalice on two because you didn't see a cavern in the pile. Correct. Doomsday is not playing cavern main deck. Good to know. Oh, that's good. I didn't know they. I'm very dead to Chalice on 2. Alright, so the opponent has told me they don't play um, Cavern in the main deck. So I guess the Chalice on 2 would have been right. Yeah, we had a, we had a chat here in ch stream, so if I would have played Chalice for 2, uh, opponent said I probably would have had it. Some do they play main deck? That's why I figure, they always have one, it's just a one land, right? Some don't, right. 
If you lead on three ball before those this game, I was very dead. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. My opponent just said I should have led on the 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 three ball first, and I uh, I would have won. But yeah, chat told me, so I appreciate the support there from the opponent. All right, so they got they got that. I guess I should have made them have it. I should have played the chalice there. Yeah, I was worried that they would um, just like I I didn't want to. Um, yeah, I didn't want to make sure. Alrighty, let's bring in the spheres. Yeah, that was a pun. I shouldn't have done that. All right. What can we do here? I guess, do we take out the dice rolling? I really wanted to roll dice today, folks. But I feel like Doomsday is just too fast to try to keep up. So we might have to take these out. Might even just... Oh man, Cadolta is actually not that bad. Take out the staff, I think that's too cute here. Foundry? Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, Crucible. We'll take out Crucible because we're not worried about Wastelands. Play it like this. Hey, want to get banned? Sorry, someone's spamming in my chat. Um, seems like a terrible hand. Right, I got a mulligan this. Seems like a better hand. This goes turn one grim. Let's figure out this out. Let's look at this. Let's look at this hand. We're on the play here. We don't have a key, but we can get turn one grim. Opponent just said basically we have to fight the counter wall versus endurance and control. It's not worth playing cavern in the main anymore. Yeah, I should have made made you have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think Gollum here is really good, so I'm going to keep this. I think we're about to put back, though. I think the Candelabra, since I'm chalicing for one. Unless I go the Candelabra out again, so I get Candelabra untap chalice for one, so that's a line there. Probably put back the Saga, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's put back the Saga here. Because my plan is to go to City, Candelabra, untapped City... Um, and then cast Chalice for one. Are they gonna force this? Oh no, I didn't think so. I'll probably force the Chalice here. Unless I like hold up Chalice. I mean, Warp Well, I don't think that's the plan here. That's a combo. That's an expensive combo. Alright, force negation, that's fine. Pitching Ponder. Good thing is I can... I mean, they're gonna bring in Duresses and stuff, but I'm hoping to deal with this Warping Whale. So I can actually cast the Lodestone Golem next turn, using some sh some stuff here. I can untap this. Personal Tutor, that's fine. I can untap... The, I can uh, tap the city, untap it, and then tap it again. Float a mana, and then play Grim Monolith into Lodestone Golem. Hopefully they don't have days. That's a cloud post. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's see if they can deal with this golem here. No days, no days, no days. Oh, no good days. Alright. Um, question is, do we play the cloud post? No, we just help the city. We can just help the city here. Alright. Pass the turn opponent. Alright, what do you got? What do you have? Here's the cavern. Merfolk, yep. Two mana for the dark ritual. Huh? Are they gonna do they? They need a. Oh, they got a pedal. Oh, of course they have the pedal. 
So maybe I should have held up the do warping well then. Yep, they got a doomsday. Cost four to doomsday. I'm aware. Yep. Yeah, I, mean, I could have uh, held up the warping well here. Do they play any more sorceries moving on, moving forward? They don't, right? They just do the street race, street race, street race thing. They could cast IDs Unbound. Good point. Good point. Let's see. Uh, let's see what they do here. I guess I can just keep holding up Warping Wow. Or a Ponder. Yeah, good point. And then they just deck out. No, they'll just rigidly. They'll just draw it, right? That's a cool artwork. I do like the original Doomsday artwork, though. Right. Let's. Let's see what they did. Let's go pull this out of here. Alright, so they just... Did, ideas on builds in exile, so they're not playing that one. There's... Uh, one... Two, three, four. There's four ponders already here. Duresses. They have one duress here. Two, three... Three duresses. Tall Caesars, one, two... Hmm. Yeah, so a bunch of cards. Let's see how this goes. I think their powers fetch Oracle and Autumn. They should have the win. Yeah, I figured that. We'll see how it goes. Just play it out. Sphere! Whoa, so... Sphere means... Yeah, this will stop them. this means that it, the spells will cost more. How do they do with Sphere? 4 mana Oracle? Exactly, yeah. And this hits for 5, right? They can't cast the Oracle? They paused. There's a pause. Yes! We got it! Alrighty. One more game. One more game, folks. Let's do it. No more punts. Wow, what a top deck! Mate, give me... Uh, give me some excitement in chat. What a top deck. Alrighty. Okay, I hope we get some better hands here. Dab, dab, dab. Alrighty. Okay. Go ahead. And, let's ship it back. I don't think we need to sideboard here. The warping wells, the spheres, I think it's all good. We're going to be on the draw. So hopefully we can be like land pedal, warping well, slam. Be kind of nice. Yeah, I could have potentially got this. Since, uh... I earlier, like, I could, I could have punted. Because the opponent said they didn't have Cavern main. So I could have just went Chalice for two pass. And they would have lost. Like, I like how the opponent, like, kept the Chalice in there. And then they put a stack the deck, maybe. But they, like, it felt like they kept the Chalice in their hand. Or they, like the cavern, they put the cavern to the top, or they had it in their hand because they're just like gotta play around that chalice. <laughs> wow, look at this two drop tribal. Opponent's like gotta deal with sphere. All right, let's see how this goes. Come, come, cloud post reverends. All right, um, this is pretty bad. We don't have any plays here, and the wasteland is okay. Nah, I'm gonna mulligan this. I mean, this, I'll keep this in the blind. Oh, maybe not in the blind. I need a win. I need a win card, actually. I wouldn't even get this. What am I talking about? Mulligan. This seems good. This seems good. We have a Wasteland. We have some Glove. Okay, alright. So my play here is going to be... Probably Wasteland, actually. Start off with the Wasteland. Hit them. Turn 2, Cloud Post. Turn 3, Untap Cloud Post. Glim, Glim Post. Pedal. Then Trinosphere. To play around Days. Um, and then turn four. Oh, I can even go cloud pose. No, I'm still. I'm gonna keep this though. Um, I'm thinking I want to ship back. Do I even need the pedal though? I have so much money here. Cause I can go cloud pose pass. Play glimmer pose. Have three up. Play the gl grim to p play around the um, grim into the trinosphere to play around the days. 
like load it in the load zone and come up later. Let's ship the pedal here. Yep. Unless we've got turn one loads and got no we can't do turn one, we need a soul land. Let's see, they got a ponder or something. Thoughtsies, duress. Put Groom back? We could, yeah, because we have mana, but I'm planning the wasteland them, so they're probably gonna take the Trinosphere here. You might be right, you might be right. I'm, i I stream because I, I want I want feedback from the community uh, to learn. So this wasteland. You can turn to a train with the mana to pay for days. So you can turn to a train, yeah, that's a good point. I feel like wastelanding him, uh, the opponent here though. They took the Grim. Okay. I'll wasteland them anyway. Even though I'm an anti wasteland streamer, <laughs> I have to play it sometimes just because Lowstone's Golem so sweet. Are they just passing now? Alright, so they needed the mana for something. Two, three balls, let's go. So next turn if I gem Metalworker... No, I think you gem Transfer, because they have dazes, so we have to play around that. Two lands for our opponent. Dark Ritual, oh they're just going to go for it. But they know we have Trinosphere though. Okay, if the opponent's just got it, they got it, I guess. Maybe I should have not wastelanded and just went Cloudpost Pass. But then they would have three mana, which gives them pretty high opportunity to win. Alright. Oh, they're doing brainstorming. Oh, they already win? Seems lame. LED. They have the ideas. No, no, Edge of Autumn, sorry, that's the one. Draw the card, yep. And then, yep. Idea zombie on. Yeah, that sucks. I literally just played two lands and they already won. Good games, opponent. Good games. Alright. That's unfortunate. We didn't get the roll any dice. Alright, let's, let's, let's pass it back. I mean, they, they just had the nuts, right? We couldn't do anything there. So in my in my Ugin Cloudpost deck that is colorless, uh, I have Top Rob in the sideboard for like the Khan package, and there have been opportunities where I was like, oh, Khan for Top Rob beat Doomsday, because Doomsday is a really rough matchup for Cloudpost in general. Like we can't interact with them, and they have counter spells. Um, so I put Top Rob in because back in the day, like, um, like DNT is kind of annoying, right? We have stuff like Ugin and all this stuff in the big colorless versions, but DNT is really annoying. It's humans. Humans is just a bunch of creatures, right? Meddling, not meddling mage, like, you know, reflector mage, all this stupid stuff. So yeah, I used to have Top Rob, and also, um, it randomly hoes, um, Dreadnought. That's like, Dress Down, Dreadnought is coming back, right? There's a lot of, like, people going Stifle, Dress Down, End of Turn, Untap, dre uh, Dreadnought. So yeah, actually no, Top Orb helps them. Good point, yeah, no, okay, scrap that one, scrap that one. <laughs> good games, good games, mate. Yeah, so the chat told me I, I punted on uh, game one. I shouldn't have, uh, I should have just played Chalice on 2 in past. But uh, yeah, we're trying to roll some dice today, some D20s. Some these are these are not correct d20s. <laughs> these are not correct ones, but I'm gonna try to roll these in person when we do the dice rolling. All right, let's try to get some games going. Oh, there we go. As soon as I grab my water, right? Hmm. Finally, won the die roll again. I have a really, really bad tendency of winning die rolls all the time. Alright, what do we got here? Three lands. Oh, we have finally got a treasure chest. This is a really slow hand. But it has a metal worker. We don't know where it, we're versing Stu and 90, 90, 90. They must really like the number 90. We're on the play as well. We could go. Now this feels like a really slow hand. I might mulligan this since we are a cloud post deck and we probably want some fast mana. Though this does some cool stuff. If we can go turn 3, metal worker, untap, we're gonna have 3 artifacts in our hand. We're gonna make 
six mana, plus the three in the hand, uh, three in play, it's nine mana. And we play your staff. This makes a lot of mana. But it seems really too slow. Especially because we lose the Saga as well. I'm gonna mulligan this. Unless we. Yeah, let's mulligan. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna mull this. They kept being a 7. Wow. Punished. Get punished. Okay, we'll keep this. But, uh, well, that was unfortunate. Um, I could do Asian Tomb. Oza Saga and just make a bunch of creatures. I've done that before. I guess that might have to be the line here since um, we have mold to four cards. <laughs> just Oza Saga turn one, turn two, Asian two, make a bunch of creatures. I think that might have to be the line here. So we put back this. Hope they don't wasteland us. Put back that. Like this. I feel like we're just gonna get aggro now. And metal worker. Yeah, because I'm gonna go turn one saga, turn two tomb, turn three, um Vesuva the tomb. I even can use it on Saga as well, so we'll get rid of this. Alright, folks, this is the best mold of four I can ever go. Let's go. Hopefully we can win this. No wasteland, please. Oh yeah. Get wrecked. We lose. No, it's okay. We can play this tomb. We can play the tomb out. Of course, we get a turn one wasteland. Oh, that's not too bad. No, I give up. Seriously, man. K Seriously? Ah, oh, come on, mate. What, what are the, the luck, really? Is this Blue Redolver? Ah, yeah. That's the worst. Double Wastelanded blindly. Ah, yeah. Alright, we'll play it out, play it out. Oh, everyone knows here on the stream, I really hate Delva. Just casually keep the double wastelander. They have to attack. Third wasteland. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that today, folks. I'm not doing that today. All right. So we take out staff. It's a little bit too slow. Crucible is good for the wasteland. Shooter Sphere is good. I don't think the spheres actually do it here, even though it's gonna annoy them. They could just kill us. I wanna keep these for the sake of the stream, right? Warping Wells are good for against their Delvers and their and Dragon thingies. Ugu might be too far. Even though it wipes their board, a little bit too far. I think it's too ambitious. Treasure Vault? Yeah, I mean, Treasure Vault would be sweet, you're right. Treasure Vault would be sweet. 
Make all the all the all the treasures. I want this card to be played today. So let's go ahead and leave that in there. They got one treasure chest, alright? And we'll play it like that. I was gonna bring in the spheres to like tax their deck, make them slower, but that also could hurt us. Alright, we have Turn one Grim into we have a turn one treasure chest if we wanna do that. And we have a blast zone, so I'm gonna keep this. Cause I wanna just really wa roll some dice. I think that's the whole objective of the stream today. Let's go! Let's see if this resolves. <laughs> but it's like, oh you're kidding me, you're kidding me. Treasure chest? Yeah. Alright, let's see what this does again. We can make treasure tokens, gain three, draw three cards, or we can grab an artifact, put it in a battlefield. So what are we putting in? We're probably just putting in like a a, a lodestone, or do we get the thing? Oh, I didn't I didn't mind them wastelanding me here, because I can probably play out my plow posts. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We are good. Another wasteland? Huh, punk? Another wasteland? Okay, good. Thought so. Delva, I don't care. Do not care at all. Look at this. This is a face that does not care. Alright, I could have played around days here, but I'm just going to jam it out. Do they have the days? No, they do not. Haha. Your face. Your face, opponent. Your face. Alright, you can flip the door if you want. I'm gonna activate this treasure chest. Oh, they did not flip. Fugitive wizard. Represent. If you didn't know what a fugitive wizard is, it's an unflipped Delva. A 1-1 one, one for 1 with a lot of story text. It's a braid? No, young peasy. That's okay. Good luck with young pyromancer with their loads and golem here. So, I could crack the treasure chest here. To see what I get. Because I could get 5 treasures. Ooh, Votate Key. That's a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. There's a chalice. Um, okay, so... We just can sack this and see how it goes. Could either gain 3 and draw 3 cards. Or we could hit 20. What, is, what does chat think? What does chat think I'm going to hit? I'm, gonna act, I'm thinking of activating this right now. What does chat think I'm going to hit? 1? <laughs> Lose 3 lives? Alright, alright. Let's see. Let's just do it, eh? You hit 17? Alright, give me some guesses. 20? Not as... Alright, man. I'm, I'm down for 20. Let me some, give me some guesses, alright? Once I get enough guesses in about 20 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and crack it. And see how we go. I'm hoping to get 5 treasures. So I can play Lodestone Golem. 9? Alright, alright, alright. 11? Okay, okay, okay. We ready? We re more guesses? Any more guesses? I want to go ahead and do this. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let's go. I got five treasures. <laughs> so let's see what I hit. I rolled. I rolled a two. Oh, that's pretty good. I rolled a two. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been a one. Wow, who said one in the chat? Handled it? <laughs> wow. I was close. Just <laughs> You're the closest. Good work, mate. Good work. Um, so I just paid seven mana to, uh, <laughs> to get five treasures. Um, okay, so I think we golem here. Do I give away that we have a blast zone? I'll probably just wait, right? Yeah, so we can just play the, play the treasures like this. <laughs> Seven mana. Alrighty. Um, what can I do here? Do I just play at the blast zone? I could wasteland it, so I just play the tomb out here and pass. Seven mana for five investments. Alright, they're probably gonna flip here. That makes sense. The lightning bolt. Yeah, I don't care about lightning bolt. I got the chalice on one here. This is game two, so they could have a braid. Oh, they're just doing for the t for the tokens. I gotcha. They have to pay two mana. Right. I guess I can attack with the Delver here, which I want to kill after this, in the Blast Zone. Ooh, Chalice. So... Chalice for 2 seems really good though. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I have to deal with the Delver though. There were five cards left. Or do I... Oh wait, they can't even play one drops because of the Chalice. We can Chalice for two later? That's a good point. I think we play Blast Zone here. And just blow up the Blast... Uh, the... Actually... This makes four mana? I can still Chalice for two. Here. Because I have the Treasure. And they can't Daze. Because of Golem. Right? Yeah, we do both. Go ahead and Chalice for 2 here. We do have a lot of 2-drops though. Remember we looked at our deck? We have a lot of 2-drops, but... You know, Chalice is not technically a 2-drop. You know, and I don't care about Grim Monoliths at the moment. Because I got one in play. Do this. I think I blow now in case they have Stifle. So let's go and do that. I'm worried. I don't. They're not gonna play any one drops. So unless they have a braid and stuff, but they kind of break the the thing here. So let's do it now. Bloop. Yep. Good luck attacking your tokens. I am twelve though. All right. How do you deal with Chalice one and Chalice and two? Opponent. Opponent. Mug tied. No. It's a token, right? <laughs> a two mana. <laughs> That's okay, two mana Ponda, then it gets counted. So good. Hey, I'm an I'm the elemental player. Oh! Poggers, we're doing it again, folks. But it's four mana activate, so we can't do it yet. <laughs> oh, these treasure chests, they're just coming right back at us, right? Every turn. I wish Loso Gold was like a 4-4. Four -four. I really wish. 5-3 is very awkward. I guess 5-3 kills, kills faster. They're just throwing all the Kendrip away to make these sweet, sweet elementals. Alright folks, give me another chat. I want everyone to predict again in the chat. We have three one drops in the whole deck. Give me some predictions, chat. Give me some predictions. You got some predictions there, wife? My wife doesn't know what she's talking about. What I'm talking about. Give me some predictions. We're gonna crack this baby again. And hope we do not hit, uh, what's the, was that one, right? Illusory life? <laughs> oh, my wife is making me dab. Alright, we got, uh, alright, 6, 17, 14, 1, 10. Alright, any more predictions, everyone? I'm hoping to get, uh, what's the last thing again? Search for a card and put an artifact in the battlefield, otherwise just tutor a card. Uh, okay, see that all the predictions we got here. Go ahead and crack this. Let's see what we get. <laughs> we got treasures again. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, we rolled a six. We rolled a six, folks. Let's hope they don't have uh, null rod. Uh, we rolled a six. Who got the closest? <laughs> and don't just how how did you guess six? Unbelievable. You're so good at this, right? Well, it's not advancing our board state. <laughs> I mean, it is. We're getting treasures. But we need things to play. I'm hoping to hit the Tudor one. I want to hit a 20 so I can tutor a card. So good at this handled. Just as a reminder, anyone, if you want to see more jank and more stupid shenanigans like this, click that follow button. Best way to support the channel. And if you're watching from YouTube, Click the click the subscribe button. It's the best way to support the channel for free from this Murtai Regent. What? It's a 6-6. Six, six. Please help me. Good work, mate. Good work. Are they going to start attacking? I think they should. This Murtai could have killed me so hard. Oh, some life? Mm. <laughs> I needed something else. I guess I- did I take out the staff? I did. The staff would've been good actually at the moment. Just like start tutoring cards. Or uh, drawing cards. How do I have like two one drops in my hand? Alright, attack with the Merc's High. That's fine. I'm getting some life here. <laughs> all the manners. All of them. Please. Give me all the manners. 
What are we looking for here? Maybe Did I take the Ugin out? I think I took the Ugin out, right? Because I was worried about <laughs> not getting enough mana. Ugin would be great here. But they got six cards, so... I have a feeling they're just going to kill me with this like, giant dragon. Alright, they're attacking with everything. I guess I die here, right? Yeah, I think I'm dead. Because of maths. Everyone, maths. Do you remember maths? Let's go draw some cards. Some more golems. Metal workers. Revolves. Alright. I know unfortunate. I am losing a lot. But we're having a good time. I think that's all that matters. And, and as you remember as well, I'm not accepting subs unless you want to sub to me through Twitch Prime. Uh, if you want to do give me a free sub, uh, save your money, just go in and give me the free Twitch Prime sweetness subs. But in regards to real donations, um, I want to support streamers uh, that are streaming full time during a pandemic. Um, uh, so please send your money to those people when the pandemic is happening. Um, but if you have Twitch Prime, that's also free. So that's totally fine. If you're watching from Twitch, uh, from YouTube, click like, uh, support my stream, uh, click the subscribe button. If you're wondering what my YouTube channel is, it's this. Um, but yeah, I'm just I want to be I want to be cognizant of like people that are streaming full time as well because I feel like it's really important to try to support those people. Um, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate the love, mate. Um, Japan, Jap Japan, Japan. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm just having fun. I'm having a good time. Even though this, these leagues cost me money, um, I don't mind, um, just like having good company around. That's all that matters. We are having a good time. So I think, since, as you know, I play a lot of Cloud Post. I play a lot of colorless decks. I, I guess I, I play a lot of Eldrazi when I'm trying to be competitive. Uh, I played in the challenge this morning, but I did not stream. Uh, I played Ugin Cloud Post, just big, big mana colorless Cloud Post. Um, didn't go too well, but I guess I was sort of distracted at the same time as well. So um, didn't take it too seriously. But I, I am trying to practice for um, some upcoming paper tournaments that come up like in a couple, in a couple months ish. Um, and I figured stop playing jank and should uh, should practice proper decks. But during the stream, I can play shenanigans as well. Um, you know, I thought I wanted to have a bit of fun with these treasure chests and these dice rolling mechanics. But I think eventually soon, I'm going to probably start going down to playing like um, you know more seriously. But outside of that, I love I love playing I love playing big mana decks. I like playing uh, prison decks as well. Thought about giving uh, Modern Red a try one day. Oh. So B one A U Bear has made me dab. So here's the dabs, mate. Here's your dabs. Pew, 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 pew. Wow. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna but they were on Miracles. Oh Miracles seems sweet. Alright, we have another treasure chest. Um I guess we can try to keep this. I can if they're miracles. I can go turn one treasure chest if I wanna be that guy. Let's go ahead and keep this. They're on the play here. We most likely probably just go 05. But uh, I'm having a bit of fun. I don't think Miracles plays days. <laughs> so I can go. The problem is with Toe on Treasure Chest is that we won't even have. Um, we won't even have the mana. No days of miracles, yeah. We won't even have the mana to activate it until like turn three. So potentially I think we just play Cloud Post Pass here. We don't develop our mana. Let's let's be patient. But the treasure chest lead, the treasure chest. Yeah, turn two staff seems good, I agree. They're brainstorming here, which I don't know I don't think Miracles plays counter spell anymore. But they generally take a few turns to to, to set up. I feel like treasure ch uh, staff is actually really impactful here. Like, as in, staff is um, probably the best card I could actually get resolved because I can continue to just draw cards over and over again. So, is there an option here that I actually go Grim first and see if they try to counter it? I don't think they'll counter the Grim though. It's, I got like a million clubos. Um. Also playing the Grim here means that I open up to untap it later. Because I can go Grim into Staff here if I really want. Um, the question is do they um, untap or do they counter the Staff? The Staff is really good. Let's go ahead and play Paired or... I don't think this really matters unless I'm trying to play around a... Uh, 
Metal Worker. Uh, I did, hmm. Six cards? They kept a seven, have six cards. I feel like they're gonna counter this. Let's go staff, let's see how it does. They're gonna counter this, because they haven't countered anything, and they most definitely have a counter spell. They've pondered twice in a brainstorm. They're gonna counter this. Then we can. Oh, they did not! Whoa! Okay. Um. Okay, sure. Sure, we'll take it. Wow, this just means we keep drawing cards. Unless they have a. If they have a prismatic ending, they need more colors. <laughs> this is this a uh, Snapcaster? Ponder? It's gonna Snapcast the Ponder on main phase? Okay, so they're playing Miracles. Pretty standard stuff. Interesting. I guess we're, we're really favored against this matchup, so that's a thing. Ponder gets exiled, right? Playing the Cloudpost must be really scary for them. <laughs> All the treasure chests. All of them, please. Um, question is, do I just draw cards or I just play really janky treasure chests? I can't even... I can play two treasure chests and then pass. Or do I just draw a card? That's three, four, five. I think we draw a card here. Tap creature, untap creature. What does this card do? <laughs> oh, let's just draw a card here. We can play treasure chest and activate it next turn. What is this treasure chest about? It is a really stupid card that involves. It's for standard. Um, you pay three to cast it, then you pay four. Sorry, you, three mana to cast, pay four, activate it, and then I let chat guess how, what's the number going to be. And then we either get tre treasures, we lose three life, we gain three life, draw three cards. Um, or we get to tutor a card. So it's a bit of fun. It's just, it's all about getting lucky. Brainstorm from our opponent. Exclamation mark card should help you. Treasure, is it? Chess. There you go, that would explain it for you. The opponent does not know what's going to hit them. They got the Teferi maybe? Just, just all the cantrips in the world. Ponder, brainstorm, ponder, 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 brainstorm, snapcaster. I really wish I had my chalice to the voids. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Prismatic ending the Grim. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That was never really untapping. I mean, I could have untapped it with the, the cloud pose, but that's not the plan at the moment. Oh, I could have tapped it, but I don't. I think being on 25 is okay. I'm gonna draw a card here. Yeah, draw injured. Go. <laughs> Pedal. Alright, rip. Chalice. Alright, we'll go ahead and play this. Make a million mana. I guess we chalice for one. That's really important here. That's a million cantrips. I got a count of this? Does that mean it's gonna reveal our treasure chest play? They have countering this. Force of negation, pitching, force of negation. That's a lot of force of negations. Um, this taps for four, five, six. All right, we're gonna play two treasure chests here, um, and then we can do some uh, guessing afterwards. Poet won't know what hit him. <laughs> She's like, "What, Lee? What are you doing, Lee? Co come on, Lee." But it's so confused. Oh, <gasps> technically we could crack it now. Do we do it now? Because we have four mana open. We can play the pedal and just lose three life. Let me just lose all our pedals. I think we have enough. Yeah, let's do it now. All right, chat. Play another one. I could. Okay, we'll play another one then, just because it's low. We'll play another one. Okay, we're not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna play two of them so we can have a bit of fun. Crack both of them at the same time. Not yet, not yet, chat. You can, I mean, you can give your pre-guesses. Go ahead and guess in chat now if you want while we're... Jace? Who cares about Jace? Give me some guesses, give me some guesses. Come on, let's warm it up, warm it up. Let's get the chat going. we we'll do for treasure chest one. I want your guesses, let's go. Guesses. Let's go. Hey, right, yeah, that's better, that's better. Let's do two guesses here with a comma, maybe. Alright, you can... 
19. All right, just just say numbers between 1 to 20, and uh, we'll figure it out when we track them, right? Go ahead, all right. It's our turn. We untap. All right, chat. Treasure chest, number one. Let's see. <laughs> ask the opponent for a guess. All right, let's, let's go on and ask them. Hello, opponent. Uh, what number do you guess? <laughs> Let's see what they say. Uh, give me some guesses. Give me some guesses. This is going to be fun. 12? <laughs> how about number... How about chest 2? <laughs> alright, alright. So we've got some numbers here. We've got 19... I've got 17, 13, 2 and 20, 17, 19... 14, everyone's thinking 19, 7, okay, okay, okay. So, we're going to do chest number 1 now. See how this goes. We rolled an 18. What? 18? So we gain 3 life and draw 3 cards. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, did someone guess 18? Someone guessed 17. So that was really close. And someone guessed a 19. 3 cards? Seems good. Um. All right, so this wasteland is useless. I guess we. Hmm. We gained three life. I think we play the low stone golem here. They're gonna have to minus on Jace, or do we just because metal workers kind of get just gonna get bounced? I think. How much mana do we have? We have five mana. Do we crack again? Groom and the Golem? That's a good point. Yeah, let's do that. But the Metal Worker, yeah, I don't think the Metal Worker is doing anything here. We don't need tons of mana. Oh, we also can use this to tap the creature down. But we don't care too much about. Oh, we can tap, tap their Snapcaster when we attack their Jace. Got to cat. Got to crack the other one. Yeah, we'll crack it. We'll crack it in a sec. My turn will be better. Ah. <laughs> the boat is really confident. They're just like my turn will be better. It sounds very bold. All right, let's just pull this back out. Bounce. Yes, that's fair. What do they got? Back to basics. Yeah, I knew. I knew they had back to basics. So we still have the wasteland here. To be able to crack the treasure chest. We have to let that resolve, we can't let that you know. So back to basic is kinda awkward. That's true. The waste the metal worker would have made it made them think that we had could go infinite. Alright, let's untap here. Well, sort of. With Jace every turn is better. <laughs> right, um, Let's go ahead and sack this land, it's kind of useless. We could crack the treasure chest, um, and then see if we get five treasures. <laughs> um, I mean, we're basically doomed anyway, so... And, and unless we play Metal Worker, but I think, I think we just crack here, because we're here for the lols. Or unless we use this mana to untap the Grim Monolith. But this really gives us three mana. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and crack the other chest. I know some people have given us some answers. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. I don't even know honestly if it hits twenty. I don't know what's gonna back to basic. Yeah, we we the back basic got us. We could do it on end step as well. No, let's do it now. They guess seven. Let's see whatever. Let's see what we get. We hit a seventeen. We got pretty high. Seventeen, not too bad. Not too bad. Seventeen, not too bad. You're close. You're close handled. You said seven. That's that's a thing. Wait, so is this game one? Did they have yeah, this is game one. They had a back to basics in the main? Wow, so much hate. They didn't attack? Fairy? Why didn't, oh, because I don't know what they're hoping for. It just plussed. <laughs> Probably just doesn't even care anymore. Um, 
I guess we can use the super copy their land. Copy their planes, why not? Because we can get city into metal worker, they're probably gonna counter it, but though, but they didn't even attack. They gotta fate seal me to death. Yep. They forget to attack last turn? <laughs> they're not attacking. <laughs> okay, they got a pedal here, it was kinda nice. We can crack the second treasure chest. We can scoop at the same time, but I want to play this other treasure chest. Alright, I think we should scoop. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, mod. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to... Uh, I can't actually crack this, I think, unless I get a soul land. Alright, they're ending me. Ended my pedal? Oh wow, that's very aggressive. Alrighty, Ugin in. Forges are in. Uh, spheres are not great. I'll play around that. I don't think mm, they. I don't know if they're playing Terminus, right? They played Snapcaster, which means they have graveyard shenanigans, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Spell Sky's not too bad. If they're trying to ending stuff, I could redirect. Every man and their dog are playing prismatic ending now. I'm glad it's a common, by the way. So I'll get rid of Crucible, since that was there for the Wastelands. Wastelands is actually kind of awkward in this matchup. Because they it seems like they're playing a lot of basics. It might be just straight blue-white control. Don't want to cut lands, though. I do have a, bla a single Blast Zone. I want to activate this guy. Deck of many things. Return around a card from a graveyard to my hand, which I could return a, like a, I don't know, a wasteland maybe. Draw two cards, seems pretty good, and then uh, put a creature into play. Let's cut, uh, I guess we cut a treasure chest. Foundry seems pretty good. Okay, we'll cut two treasure curves, and we'll keep the other one. We want to keep this one. This one's funner. Still want to get. I want to get that achievement unlocked. Right, I'll be able to play here. Hmm. Turn one chalice, turn two grim into metal worker, or just literally turn one grim uh, metal worker. If it resolves, I'm gonna keep this. Let's see if they kept a seven. They did also kept a seven. Do we just go for gold and just try to cast a turn one metal worker? No, we have to chalice. I think that's just that's the beauty of it. We have to just chalice for one here. I hope they didn't counter it. They didn't even counter it. That's that sucks. Yeah, they're passing here. All right, this will protect them from swords anyway. So <laughs> this looks exciting. Appreciate it, mate. All right, this will protect metal worker from swords, and well, hopefully we can vomit our hand. This is gonna. Oh, no force! No force! Oh! Oh, let's hope this is resolves. Please don't die. What? what? I can't ending it because it's three mana. Oh, they scooped it! They scooped it! Yes! Yes! Oh! Good work, opponent. Good work. <laughs> Sat. Yeah, so. I, I, I agree, I own the original Metal Workers. Um, I just, because I'm sponsored by Card Hoarder, as you can see here, up here, up above, Card Hoarder, they are a great sponsor of the stream here, and they just I, they just give me whatever. You can actually choose the edition, what you want, but I was sort of trying to get the deck list uh, sent to me as, I mean, the card sent to me as fast as possible. I must have put the wrong Metal Workers in. But you're right, I do, I do, I do appreciate the uh, old Metal Workers. Um, I think we just spin it back. Wow, turn one chalice, turn two metal worker, got the game. Let's see if we can Okay, round three here against uh Mr. Miracles here. Sorry, not Mr. I don't know what gender they are, but they are playing Miracles. And this seems like a terrible hand in the sense that I could go Turn one Lodestone Golem. I can even go turn one Trinosphere. But then I don't have enough lands. This seems like a horrible train wreck. Ship it. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna ship this. But I'm just thinking of like, if we're playing elves, 
<laughs> it falls to a false. Yeah, that's true. With losing L's, there could be a potential line that I just go to one goal and pass. A YOLO force check? <laughs> oh, mate. I think I think, I think think some of the chat here have too much too much excitement. Um, no, but that's good. That's good. Now, I'm going to mulligan this because I just need lands against miracles. Oh, this seems great. I'll go ahead and snap keep this. I'll right, go ahead and keep this one. I think we can get rid of the pedal here. Because <laughs> um, we get turn one chalice, turn two cloud pose, and then play all the best lands in magic. If you're here and you're watching the cloud pose stream, thank you for watching. If you want to click that follow planes, click that follow button. Best way to support the, my jank and my dream of just playing jank forever uh, for the rest of for the rest of my life. So click that follow button. Best way to support me here. Um, other best way to support me here as well is go to my YouTube channel where I upload all my cool videos on my stupid decks and my shenanigans. Literally burning money, but uh, I'm here to have fun. That's the only thing I ask in, in return is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and also you throw your Twitch Primes at me. That's a, that's a good way as well. Twitch Primes are good. Alright, Force. Do you have the Force of Will? No you do not. It has hit the battlefield and we have moved to the end step. Alright, I'm sure Miracles hates wait. Ooh, Wasteland target. That seems good. Null Rod. I do not care about that for now because I have Ugin. Oh, there's Golems. Alright, I'm still going to Wasteland. I'm sorry, folks. I just have to do this. Force check has passed. Alrighty. So we're still going to do the plan, play a bunch of Cloud Bursts and stuff, but we just have to Wasteland that Tundra because we don't see much. Oh, they passed! Did I have a second land? Yes! I mean, third land, but you know what I mean. Forge Master, that's also a 3-5, let's just point that out. Alright, so I'm going to be able to play this for Suva. Oh, no land, no land, no land! Yes, 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 yes! Thank you for the follow! Zero is even. Oh, that's a good point, it is. Spell Skite. Alrighty, folks. Uh, did somebody order a Lodestone Golem when the opponent has missed two land drops? Force a will, right? That's okay. That's okay. We can let them force with no th no land. It's okay. Let's uh, Kadosa Forge Master is also still a three five. All right, they got their land. This Ugun. Oh, force checked. Do I hear force check everyone, or do I want to play Kadosa Forge Master first? What does Chat think? Slam Ugun or play Kadosa? He keeps the opponent keeps passing. Force checks. Deck is literally unbeatable, right? 3 No, let's, let's switch it around to 3-0. Um, do we check if they have the force? Kadolfa first? Oh, uh, maybe. You're probably right. I want to put some pressure on with the Kadolfa. It's a good point, a good point. Let's go to Kadolfa first. <laughs> Put say, uh, chat saying Big Papa Eugene. I think we can go Kadolfa Spell Sky and then see if they, like, try to counter these. I could bait it out and play Spellscribe first, and then play Godolta second, and then they'll be like, oh, I have to counter the attacking threat. There are five cards. Yeah, let's play Spellscribe first, and see if they try to, like... I don't mind having an 0-4 in play. It stops the Snapcasters, right? We'll play this first. We're, we're baiting here, folks. Let's go ahead and bait this. Spellscribe, yep. Bait. 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 Force of Will. Force you can't force negation this. I mean, you, yeah, you can't force negation this. This is a 3-5. Bait. Opponent is thinking really hard. It resolves. Alright, so maybe Eugene would have worked. Maybe Eugene would have worked. Alright. They can't cantrip, which is great. Alright, they got their Flutter Strand. They got some lands now. Is this a Teferi I'm spelling? Back to basics? Please not back to basics. A oh, mentor. I didn't, I didn't care about mentor. Eugene kills that. All right, they four cards, four cards, four cards. This is a good sign. Good sign. Okay, all the one drops. Why? Stop doing that. Um, let's attack with the Forge Master first, I guess. Take three. All right, four cards. Let's let's drop the big Papa Eugene. This could be an Ulamog, but it's not. They have the force? Do you have the force? They had the force negation. Okay, so they had it, they had it, they had it. I have I highly doubt 
Um, I'm gonna ask them. Did they have it? Did you have the phone before last turn? I'm gonna go ahead and ask them. I don't know if they would tell me, but... It's okay, it's okay. We have threats. We have other threats. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, they waited, exactly. Yeah, they waited on the Forge Master. I think they did. I feel like they did. Opponent said, I will tell you after. Okay, I don't know how they know, for sure. Back to basics? Oh, wow. Get wrecked. Alright. Back to basics is kind of awkward. At least we can block. Block this. It's a race. Good old fashioned race. But I think they're better at racing than me. Since I have no lands. But I have Glimmer Posts. Yeah, I do. I have Glimmer Posts. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Go and gain four here. They're just gonna block here, I think. No, no block? They're gonna block here. Uh, no block? Alright. I guess I'm blocking a monk here. Because they could just like play a spell and then buff up the mentor twice. But they got two cards. Oh, they're not attacking. That's kind of sweet. Are they looking to like play a spell, Michael Dalta? <laughs> oh, get it. Get it real, chat. We're just going to gain a million life. Uh, I Okay, they got two cards. So they could just play a spell. They could play a brainstorm. No, they can't. Oh, they can play a brainstorm. So I guess I have to chill here then. How do I deal with this null rod? The awkward thing is, is, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just use Blast and to kill Null Rod, but it doesn't even work that way. <laughs> because I can't tick it up. That's hilarious. I'm such an idiot. Trinity Boar. Three Boar. Alright. Uh, i got two cards. I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna attack. Because I can play a spell and just buff all their creatures. They're just thinning? Let's go ahead and thin. Thin the library. Oh, they have red now? I didn't see red before. All the basics. Basically playing a limited deck. Alright, two cards left in the hand. There's probably a brainstorm there. Grim Monolith. I, uh, do I burn all my mana for a Grim? They could just like force a will it. I could Grim into Trinosphere? I don't even know if the Grim will resolve to be honest. No, I'm going to be patient here. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. I don't need to do anything at the moment. The Null Rod. You are right, Stress Daddy. You are correct. I cannot play because of Null Rod. Literally all my tech, all my cards, read it. Say that, but I just can't read for some reason. Everyone is just standing here. We are just all staring at each other. Alright, stage? I can't play Trinosphere, I think I have to chill here. It'd be great to play a, um, just tap out and play a Metal Worker. They, wh why are they playing all their lands for? They don't need to, they could just hide, hide cards in their hand. They, <laughs> they keep playing all their lands out. This 3-5 is just bricking all their creatures. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and play all my lands out, why not? Just because, uh... You know, I'm just getting all these untapped lands. To fairy, sure. Which they could use to bounce Cadolta. Wow, it took a while for them to actually uh, get a playable card there. Bounce Cadolta here? Put on some pressure? Bounce the Chalice? Sure. Now they can play all their cantrips now. Being a mentor deck, it makes sense. What am I hoping for? That's a good question. Brainstorm from our opponent. All the triggers. All 
Alright, brainstorm, put the cards back, shuffle with the Prismatic Vista. What do you got, buddy? Swords. Swords on the Kadolta. Sure. You got it. Kadolta dies. Eh. Okay. okay, so opponent's like, yes, I had it. Like, they wanted to tell me after they won the game. Uh, so they've gone ahead and mentioned, mentioned it after they've gone ahead and swords, my dude. Just wanted to make sure. I guess I might as well just block this spell sky now. Because it's not really doing anything. Hmm. We got three cards left. What am I? Okay, I can play Cloud Post here, but I don't know what I'm even hoping for here. I guess the Trinisphere early would have stopped them from cantripping. But they would have been able to bounce it to Fairy, but then that means I can't bounce it to the Chalice. Go ahead and hurt myself, play Chalice for one. Play Cloud Post tapped. Now it's locked forever. And then just kill myself? Because I'm dead. I know I'm dead here. They have another false. I'm super dead, but I'm just going to wrap up the game here. Got like... 5, 6, 7... This is, we can just scoop it up. Yeah, we'll scoop it up here. We don't want to waste everyone's time. Alright. Good games. Alright. This uh, this list is not optimal, but we're having a good time. We just want to roll some dice. Alright, on to round five. <laughs> oh, mate. It's been good times, good times. If anyone has any build away build around cards that you want me to test out, let me give me some suggestions in chat. I've been looking to like potentially try out some new Have you ever played Gamble Storm? I've not. Is it just like based around Gamble, I guess? Ragavan? Oh, hilarious. <laughs> yes, let's build a deck around Ragavan, literally just every deck. Um There was a card I wanted to muck around with. Um Okay, so I show you a card that I've been mucking around with on my phone. Right, I've been like testing deck lists and stuff. This is a card that I. It's called Bag of Tricks. Let me show you. Where is it? Bag of Trick. Tricks, tricks, trick. It's green. There you go. It is, yeah. So this card here. I've been mucking around with it. It's commander card. I don't know why it's green or red. I don't know why it's red, but you can play it in Legacy. Um, basically, it's two mana artifact, and then you pay five and you roll a d8, and then whatever hits one to eight, you get a you basically cascade and get a creature of that card, and you put it into play. So I thought about um, making a card around that. Like I put like Terrestodon, Sylvan Primordial, Prime Time, like all these like crazy ETB creatures. To play or uh, to to sort of muck around with that. Uh, mm. That's a lot of wastelands. Why do I have four wastelands in my hand? Um, I don't want to be I don't want to be the one of those people where they just wasteland every turn. I think it's sort of unintuitive here, just, especially because I have one payoff. So I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan this. No, I'm not keeping that. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible choice. Um, I feel like this hand here is actually better, just because I can go turn one, four wastelands. <laughs> I can go turn one key, turn two. Ah, oh, it's just a Vesuva though. I'm on the draw actually. This is actually not too bad because I'll copy their land turn one, then turn two play Grim Monolith into key, and then that will give me four mana, and I can play the Metal Worker. Keep this, I guess. 
Metaphor Key also untaps Metal Worker as well. Oh, it's, it's actually kind of hard to figure out what to ship back. Because Kadolta, I mean, that's a win con, but let's see if I have enough artifacts in my hand. And then Kadolta also just lets me sack all the things and just go get, not really a win con, but lets me get anything out of my deck. Which is a staff. So I guess I put the staff back then. Why am I, why do I keep versing blue decks? I want to verse non-interactive decks. Like, like elves or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the staff back, since the Kadolta can get the staff anyway. I've wanted to try to build a Oswald Fiddlebender list, maybe with Vials. Need to find a busted artifact set that lets you win if you're untapped with him. What is Fiddlebender? Hey, what, Slivers? Oh, they have Force Wheels though. Oh, this is going to be so awkward. I'm going to play a Vesuva and copy their Sliver Hive. I heard, I heard someone, I heard you talking about that in Unrog's chat. I don't know what Fiddlebender is. It's basically Tinkerpod? Okay, I'll look into that later. Let's, let's go ahead and look into that later. Alright, let me copy their sliver of a hive. So... I, like, I love how all my opponents also keep seven. Um, oh, wasteland. No. Mm. Mm. Cause that means I can okay. So with the wasteland, that actually means I can go turn one key and pass. I don't need to pursue with them. So let's just do that. Turn one key, and we can go turn two grim, make five mana Cadolta. This is very random, by the way. Wasteland into mana four key. <laughs> it's, it's like what deck is this? But mana four key is pretty obvious. So hopefully they don't have force will. Slivers so has no cantrips and. Four fossil wheels, so it's two, lots of sliver hives <laughs> so far. Over there, the red white is the one with haste. Yep, yep, haste, haste. Go ahead, you can haste me. Yep, the one with flying. This one again? I saw this one. Someone was playing this last time. It's like the one drop. Um, you know, zero one. Oh, sorry. I oh, know it's a one one for one, and it, ha it gives everyone like extra toughness. So random. Treasure chest. All right. Play Glimmer Post here. We're gonna go ahead and hopefully don't three three cards left. All right, this hopefully this works. Grim. Then I guess Kadolta. You can untap their vial if we want. Some kind of poggers. All right, we're just gonna do stuff. We're probably gonna die this aggro beats, but. I just want to activate Condolsa. <laughs> Do we get... It contains Plague Engineer? Oh, that's not good. All of the Sliver spells. Yep, yeah, alright. Muscle Sliver, gotcha. And they all have Flying and Haste. Oh, wow, they're really fast. Stop being fast. Please stop. That's literal Muscle Sliver, there you go. Stop, stop attacking me. No. Oh, they all have haste as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. And flying. Alright, stop dying. I've got one card left in the hand. If I could, if only I could get Platinum Angel, that would be hilarious. Transfer. I guess this Vesuva gains me a bit of life. What am I getting? I guess we have to get something. Let's go ahead and untap this. Let's go look let's go look at our library. Let's go 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 look at our deck. What do we get? Do we get deck of many things? And then try to like I don't know what they'll do. They'll probably do nothing. Staff for domination. Do we get the deck of many things just for the troll? We're super dead this game. Let's go get, get the deck right. Okay, we'll untap this first, so we can make some mana. Um, yes, two mana, so we can still do it. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's go get 
deck of many things. Um, actually, uh, it's too late now. I could have gotten like Lightning Greaves and then put Metalwalker into play, but that would only make four mana. So it's alright. Deck of many things. <laughs> oh, if I hit twenty, I'm gonna lose. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm super dead anyway. Cause like it will put my Cadalta Forge Vanish into play, and if they like bounce it, I lose. But you know, whatever. Let's have a Suva here. Let's probably get some late life here. All right, chat. Give me some. Give me your suggestions. What do you think I'm gonna hit? We have one to twenty. Go ahead and go. I give. I'm super dead this turn, so we're gonna go ahead and give me some predictions. I'll give you uh, sixty seconds. Go. One to twenty. What am I gonna hit? What do you think, chat? One to sixty. What am I gonna hit here on the deck of many things? Oh god, don't say one. <laughs> Someone was so close the last time when I said one. All right, so one to nine returns a random card from the graveyard into my hand. Ten to nineteen draws two cards, and then if I hit twenty. Um, I get to put a creature from the graveyard into the battlefield, or when a creature dies, I lose. This owner loses the game. Nineteen. Oh, okay. I guess I could draw two cards. That'd be nice. We got a seventeen last time. That was pretty high. Or oh, eighteen or something. All right, we've got a nine, a twelve, a one, and a nineteen. Jason, what do you think I'm gonna get? All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and spin now. Let's see what we hit. Oh, subtracts my hand. You're right, it does subtract. I forgot. So we hit... We hit a 14, and then we minus 3, because we have 3 cards in our hand. So then we just drew... 2 cards, and that was it? <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess we subtracted some cards. So you got 14, it's kind of right. <laughs> um. Already, Pointer's probably gonna slam us down and like kill us, or let's see if they want to give us some mercy and let us spin again. I think they're probably just gonna kill us here. <laughs> Extra salt to the wound here. We dead? Yeah, we're dead. A little bit overkill, but uh, we're good. We're good. Why right, waste hands? Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah just, thank you. Thank you for the clear observation. I I wasn't sure if I was going to lose or not. Um, I thought I had a chance. <laughs> um. Yeah, I know, right? It's not Dang Daniel Nunez. We try to get Daniel Nunez on the on the stream here, but uh, he's been kind of busy. Uh, okay, Wog Blister seems pretty good. <laughs> Ugin seems pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead. We keep the, we could really keep the dice rolling here. Ship a, two treasure chests. I wish it was like, just tap to activate. Sack. Like, it, why does it need to be four mana? And it doesn't even do dungeon things. Why can't it be, why can't it do dungeon things? Um, I think Warping Wild might be actually good. Because I can exile their, their dogs at the start of the game. I mean, they get big really fast, that's the problem. Trinity is kind of awkward because... Uh, they can still play around with it and vile, so I'm gonna ship two there. Play like this. <laughs> hey, Zopmaster, good to see you. Yeah, we're playing dumb stuff in Legacy, it's been hilarious. Uh, what do we got here? Turn 1 Chalice. We have a turn 1 Chalice. 
Uh, swap the Aether Vial, turn to Metal Worker. Okay, that seems to keep. I don't know why I kept the Crucible. Dumb stuff, best stuff. Respect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I like to entertain. I just like to have good times. Like, we're losing a lot. We won one game, I think one or two games. We just lost on Golem, I guess. But we're losing a lot, but we're having good fun. We're having good fun, that's all that matters. It still has the Metal Worker shell here, which, you know, Metal Worker has a very sentimental place in my heart. If I could, like, you know, animate, reanimate a card, magic card, it'd probably be Metal Worker. I don't think I want to get Thought Dots here in reality, that's kind of, kind of really awkward. Let's give Metal Worker a Planeswalker card. Be bonkers. Like, reveal all the cards in your hand. Uh, metal, I mean, artifact cards in your hand. Gain three mana or something. Make it five, five colorless. Something stupid. It look like just gives the reason that little small drones can also get their spark, right? Gonna give them a chance. Give them a chance. Uh, I guess we wasteland them here. If we don't... Oh no, we just play Metal Worker. Yeah, we'll play Metal Worker here. I won't give away the wasteland, but yeah, metal workers are nice. I feel like this type of slivers with the white sliver, I think they don't play force anymore, it's just more aggro. I know Daniel Nunes plays force because he has like unclaimed settlers, uh, un unsettled mariners, and all that stuff. Oh, wait, maybe. This is the one that has shroud, I think. Yeah. Oh no, this is the bounce one, yeah. Hibernation sliver, yep, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, we're gonna do lots of bad things today. Let's do this. Oh, it's only two mana. I thought it was more. Alright. So I guess we can... We can't deal with this, unfortunately. We'll play this. This Blast Zone eventually will kill these. I'm gonna Wasteland their... Cavern. Um, also I can play... Oh! I can just keep Wastelanding them! That seems like a good synergy, right? Crucible Worlds. I actually have this in the main, but only because people wasteland me. So my plan here is to wasteland them to death. Oh, they scooped it. Alright, that's good. Good signs. And more golems. More golems. I guess being on the play seems good. Yeah, my plan was to wasteland them to death and then eventually blast zone. But uh, it seems like being on the play is really good. Alright, ship it like this. I don't think... the Slivers even have, like, like Artifact Hate? Oh, they, except apart from the actual Sliver itself. I'm talking like, they don't have any Force of Vigor or anything, do they? Um, turn 1 Candelabra, or let's go Turn 1 Chalice. I think I go Candelabra here. It's Ugin's. Very enticing. Yeah, turn one candelabra, turn one, turn two chalice, turn three, or turn two metal worker, hold the chalice. Uh, I think I want to slip chalice on two though. That's the whole point. So I get turn two metal worker, turn one candelabra, turn two metal worker, hold pedal and chalice, make tons of mana. Oh, do I just hold the candelabra? Yeah, hold the candelabra. I'm gonna keep this. We hold the candelabra here, because we just want to reveal it to metal worker, and then Ugin them. Yeah, yeah, you can have first strike, I don't care. Soul land please, soul land? Soul land? Uh, still a soul land. I don't think we care about the first striker, because we're not really blocking. So, we go waste pass and then turn two metal worker but do I care about chalicing them no no we're gonna ugin them it's fine yeah so when we we play the metal worker next turn right like this uh, we also play the land as well and how many artifacts we have just two artifacts that makes four mana yeah so what we draw we're, we're relying a lot on this ugin I'm just gonna say that Guess there was an argument there to play out the pedal anyway, because we're gonna play it for the metal worker. And then just hold it up 
and hold up warping well. This is the bouncy one? Yeah, okay, that's- oh, well, that's hard then. Hard to deal with that. I guess I could've killed it in response to it, uh, getting cast. Not a thing. Alright, they're not too aggro at the moment. They had a really nuts starts last turn. Four cards from our opponent. Grim Monolith, that's also a card. Um... Interesting. So that means I can hold the pedal in my hand then. Oh no, wait, hold up. I chalice for two. Because that really hurts slivers, right? Because they just have like all these two drops. Oh man, I really want to get this metal worker out there. No, but the Ugin just wipes the whole board. Oh, they can bounce it, but yeah. Yeah, chalice on two definitely stops them. But I got the Ugin. Like, do I, I guess. Do I let. Give them another turn? That's the thing. Yeah, we're gonna chalice on two. I think that's just the plan here. So there's endow a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's chalice on two here. Hope they don't have any counter spells over there. Looking quite suspicious. I was about to say, you're gonna let my real counter my pedal. Unfortunately, it's going to stop our Warpy Whale, but it's okay. And let's snap resolves. Nice. Now i got to figure out how to... Oh, I can create a Scion with Warping Whale to cast my Metal Worker. Gale Rider? Alright, they are flying. Gotcha. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the cavern. I mean, I have a Wasteland in play, but yeah. Another Bouncy Sliver? Sure. Take three, here you go to 16. Yeah, maybe Metal Worker would have been better. Cloud Post, actually not too bad. I actually can Wasteland them here as well. Because I want to get rid of that cavern, right? But they have, what, how many power here? Do I just not Wasteland them? Uh, a few turns here. So I can go Wasteland. Also, there's probably no point playing Candelabra here. Because... Do I just go for the mana? No, I can't warp me well, sorry, because of Chalice. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four. There's six damage. So they got me in like three turns. Is that quick enough though? We got two cards in hand. Yeah, I think we did. Place on them. I need to draw like a running series of. Yeah, I think we punted by the chalice here. We really run a get a run series of like cloud posts. That'd be really good. So, I could, there could be a line here. So, what I do is, because this only makes five, right? Is I use all this mana to untap Grim Monolith. That will give me five, eight. That'll give me Ugin mana. And they only have six power on board. Right, let's, let's go with it. Let's see if this, let's see if this works. Hope the slivers don't have flash. Or haste. 
They can't cast a haste one, because that costs. They need another land, because it's red-white. Oh, they can now. That's green. Is that Muscle Sliver? No? Three, three mana? What is this? Ending? This might be ending. Oh, the one that destroys artifacts. Darn it. Oh, are they going to smash the Chalice? Let's see what they hit. Probably the Grim here, right? Hit the Chalice, please. Hit the Chalice. Please hit the Chalice. The Candelabra! I'm totally fine with this. Oh! Like, I don't realize they can bounce everything. Oh, that's awesome. That's fine. I guess there's no reason for them to hit the Grim Monolith. This is good. I think we're still in this. Go to four. I, I realize I can pay a bunch of life as well, so... Let's go and untap this. This is five plus eight. We have a chance, folk. We have a chance. We have a chance. Alright, let's go ahead and... That's seven? Did I miscalculate? Oh, because of the Candelabra was well, going to make 8. Oh, that sucks. I'm dead. Yep, 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 yep. They hit me. I was hoping they hit the Chalice, actually. Yeah, good games. We're dead. We're dead, we're dead. Yeah, the Candelabra was going to be uh, on top of the city. That was how I counted 8. Yeah, we're dead. Alright, that was, that was a fun experiment. Um... Uh, let's go look, look at the deck again. A uh, little recap here, folks. Uh, deck was kind of more funny, more funny than anything. Uh, I didn't think it was very good. Um, I always like, I always want Metalworker to work, but it it doesn't really like. It, as much as I want to give it love, it never t does it for me. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, if you're liking the channel here, if you're liking the content, I'm just having a bit of fun here. Um, I try to get more serious in future videos. But if you're liking it, click that subscribe button. Uh, click that uh, like button. Leave a comment below uh, if you want me to try brew around another card. Um, as you know, I like more prison, more big mana decks, more sort of funny shenanigan decks. Um, I can try to play competitive decks if you want, uh, but um, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Leave it in the chat um, as well. But uh, outside of that, yeah, I had a bit of fun. Metal Worker was a good time. Really, really fun time. Um, the problem with Metal Worker is that it gets sorted so many times. You always want to like turn one chalice, turn two Metal Worker. But yeah, we got to activate this once. That was hilarious. We activated this a bunch of times. The chat got interacted and they sort of interacted with the stream. That was really fun. But yeah, definitely got to bolt the bird all the time. Time to capitalize on elementals after playing for all this time. You're right. Let's see. Chat is talking about elementals. I play a lot of elementals um, before it got the new cards. So I have all the elementals that you need to play. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if I do revisit modern again, definitely keen to play some elementals. But if you're watching the video here, please go ahead and leave a uh, like or click subscribe. If you're watching here from Twitch, I stream from uh, t on 2 p.m. on Sundays, and I also stream on Wednesdays at 6:30 Pacific Standard Time. Appreciate everyone hanging out. Hope to see you next time. Bye.